In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my process of shot selection for action sports photography. If you've ever been scrolling through Instagram on somebody's carousel post and all the photos look great, then you see one photo that just stands out. And you're like, why did you choose that shot? There could be a number of things that are wrong, but it all ties back to the shot selection. I'm gonna give you a few key points to remember when you're doing your own personal shot selection. And then we're gonna go into a live view of my own personal process from a shoot that I just did. So the first rule of thumb when doing shot selection is always make sure that your photo is in focus. I know that this kind of sounds crazy when I say this, but I've seen this over and over again. And I really don't understand why people would choose a blurry photo or a photo that isn't pulled into full focus. I mean, unless it fits the narrative of the story that you're trying to tell, but there really should be no other excuse. I think the reason why people do choose those is because they have that really awesome shot that looks great. They didn't nail exact focus or perfect focus. And they think, ah, oh, it's just going to be thrown onto Instagram. But realistically, most times people can tell, even if it's on Instagram, and that really speaks volumes to the kind of work that you do. Just take the time, do one click on your photo, just zoom in, see if it's in focus. And if it's not, don't think twice, just go look for another image that might be better. The second fundamental is looking at the composition of your photo. It's good to think about things like, is your subject too close to the edge of the frame where it's gonna make for a bit of a weird crop? Is the horizon on a really weird level where it's not a true 45 or Dutch angle? And so it's just gonna look like the angle is really off. Did you cut out important parts of your subject like an arm or a leg that can't really be fixed with a closer crop? Those things are really good to think about and it's gonna effect if you choose those images or not. The third is, is your image too overexposed or too underexposed? Now there is a point in which you can bring back your photos. So don't completely get rid of a photo that's just a little bit underexposed or just a little bit overexposed because most times you can really pull back those highlights or raise those shadows. If you're unsure though, it's good to just try editing those images. And if you can't pull out enough detail, then you can just move on. So we're gonna hop into Lightroom and I'm gonna show you a shoot that we did this weekend. It wasn't a paid shoot, so I can give you guys early access into looking at these photos. So I realize that my process is gonna be completely different than what other people do. I know that some people will start their images and things like that, but personally what I do is I usually just select the image that I want and then just keep scrolling through and just find the ones that I like the best and ones that could be potentials. And then I will add that into a library and then that's how I'm gonna move forward. Okay, so I'll show you exactly how I do that. Okay, so so I have my files here that I want to import. So I'm just going to click on the first one, drag it over. So what I'll do is I'll just go into the single viewing. And I like to do this because it gives me a better view of what my image looks like. So if I want to add it, you can see include in import. So you can click that, that checks it, make sure it'll go in when you import. But this image, I don't really want to go for it. So you guys will really be able to see my whole process of how I work with photos and like how I shoot. Sometimes I'll just shoot and I'm like, okay, this position wasn't working. And I just kind of like know which ones are gonna work. So this photo, obviously you can see that this one's really blurry. This one's potential. I like that the dirt is kicking up here. I like that the tire is in motion. So I'll add that one in. Trying for a bit of a different angle here. Trying to get right down the strip, um, yeah. So a big thing that I wanna talk about as well is we want to catch the rider in a flattering position. So say if the rider's here, you know, it doesn't look like he's pulling a great wheelie and it honestly just isn't that nice for the rider because, you know, they're not gonna to wanna to post that. They really wouldn't want you to post that and be like, hey, like that wasn't a great wheelie for me. Like, why would you choose that photo? So it's all about choosing something that's flattering, right? We don't wanna go with that one. I know that he pops a better one. Yeah, like some of these are definitely better. Yeah, as he gets closer here. This one is a little bit tough because my framing was off, as I said, my horizon right here, I know that it's not perfect. I might be able to straighten that in post. So I'm gonna add that one in. And then he just gets too close to the camera. So this other rider here, this is kind of a cool shot. I like that it's wide. I like that, you know, the sun, we could really boost the sun in from the sides, kind of get a bit of a flare going. So I like that one. And the rider's kind of in a cool position. So yeah, with this one, like you can see, obviously this wheelie right here is definitely much better. The horizon was off a little bit here, which is fine. I think I can fix that in post, but I really like the sun up here and with the rider, I think we're actually gonna get a better shot coming up here if I remember correctly. Yeah, so the sun is just about where the wheel is. Love the dirt just kicked up there. You can see that nice because the sun was illuminating it. So I'm just gonna highlight that one. This one's pretty cool too. I like that the sun was peaked here. I know that the rider is a little bit closer to the right side of the frame, but I think that we could crop it up from the bottom, kind of get a 16 by nine aspect ratio there. So. So I'm gonna click that one. Just keep going here. 
Oh man, yeah, there was definitely some good wipeouts. Yeah, the rider, he really wanted to see these, his wipeouts, because he really wrecked himself on that one. So he's like, yeah, I really want to see that. So if there is something that your rider requests or something that somebody wants to see later, make sure to highlight those and you can send those off just for fun. So we'll keep those. The rider, yeah, his wheelie wasn't great there. So we'll try and find him when he gets a good one. So this one, kind of doing a similar thing. Yeah, I caught him. He was a little bit too far out on the frame there. So I'll just keep going here. Yeah, I don't like this because the sun's a little bland. Like, you know, it's a bit of harsh light. You know, the shadow's casting not in the right way. I like to backlight my subjects a lot and it just doesn't look very flattering from this angle here. So I'm just gonna leave that. Yeah, so this rider finally got a sick wheelie going right here. Yeah, I love that. Oh my goodness, the sun is in with the fender. That's pretty cool. I love that. Oh, even that one's pretty cool too. I think that I could really brighten that up. I know that he's pretty far over with the tire, but I think with like a wider aspect ratio, this definitely, you know, I don't think it'd be for Instagram, but you know, just for the rider's sake, I think he would love this. So I'll go over, keep going. These guys are just pulling wheelies for me all day. I loved it. So this one, yeah, he was looking at camera. I usually don't select these shots. I just know that he would probably like this. So I'll keep this one. So yeah, he was looking at the camera, which is okay. So just keep going, keep going. I really just whip through some of these photos cause I'm like, yeah, there's really nothing here that's interesting or happening. So. Um, this one's kind of cool. I like the low angle uh, facing up and you know that little bit of sun I think would look pretty cool. So I'll just keep going through here. Oh, that's so freaking cool. I know that like, yeah, he's way out of focus. Oh, what a bummer. Yeah, because that one's actually pretty sick. But this one's cool too. Like it's not, you know, like a really showy one uh this rider she was trying to do her best you know to pull some wheelies too but this is a really cool shot because like it's lit well and she's kind of like riding in the sun and like i think we could get some really good contrast with the orange down in here and then you know like mix some of that sky in and yeah just like tie it all together i think we could do something cool with that so she rides closer to the frame here so i'm gonna choose that one too so i'll choose that one and uh okay that one and this one yeah and i really like this one i like these style where the rider is usually in front of the sun because you know they're really um silhouetted nice so i like to choose photos like that makes like subject selection really nice this rider she was also trying to really pop some wheelies pretty cool this guy as well i'll select that one i think that one um yeah like i said just the lighting looks dull i mean i know i could probably spice this up but just overall i'm just not a i don't know not a big fan like i think we got some better photos going on everybody was just kind of screwing around and i was just taking shots so just seeing if anything would work but yeah nothing really works so i'll just keep going here this one's kind of hard because there's not much separation. Yeah, there's not much separation between the subject and the background. So I'll just keep going on. <laughs> this rider would love this shot just because she was trying to pop wheelies this day. But uh, as you can see from the foot positioning, her foot was off the peg, which does not look good because you know what's going on after that. Just basically gonna fall. So I wanna get where the foot's on the peg. And I I like the separation between the face and the bar there. Like where this one you don't get it as much to like notice the head. But uh, yeah, the foot positioning isn't great. So I'm just gonna unselect that one. And yeah, you can see bike just gone. <laughs> if you're enjoying this style of content, consider subscribing and as well. If you wanna see more free media just like this, click the link in the description. All right, let's get back to it. So as my rider's here, I was really trying to position my rider, get the sun over top of the helmet, over the brim there. So yeah, I like, I like that one. I'm gonna choose a bunch of these. Oh yeah, I love that. It's just so cool because like you get like that glow, like sick glow there. Yeah, it looks awesome. Oh, I love the wide aspect ratio there too. It looks so cool. 
yes, I like this one because the rider was looking out. Just having a good variety of shots and then, you know, having that variety to choose from in post is super key. So I'm gonna select that one. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna select this one because you can't see as much of the goggle definition. So I'm gonna go to the one before because you can see more of the outline of the goggles up in there. So I'm just gonna select that. Go over. Yeah, I did a little bit of tights as well, which is good variety. So I'm gonna choose this one instead of this one because more of the helmet is blown out and you know, I would like to see the full outline of the helmet more so. It's not a prerequisite, but it's like something I, I do like to have. So I was just trying to like peek that sun in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna choose this one because you can see the logo of the company on the helmet here. So I'm gonna choose that one. So that's cool. I'm gonna choose, uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna choose this one. I'm gonna choose this next one because the subject was more center frame, which gives me a little bit more cropping capabilities afterwards. Uh, actually, I might go back to this one, unselect, and come up to this one because the rider was more center frame and you can still see more of the helmet and I'm happy with that. So now I got the rider and his wife doing some photos here. And so I really like these. I'm gonna choose this one. I know it looks like it's a little bit dark. I can bring up those shadows in post, which is totally fine. Just looking for major things like horizon and things like that. But as I can tell from here, yeah, it looks good. See, this shot to this shot, this shot is off kilter where um, the horizon's dipping, where this one is more straight, the horizon's straight. So I'm not gonna select that one. I'm gonna go with the first one. So this one is a bit of a wider shot, so I'm gonna select that. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't really want that nine by 16. I think that, you know, for like what couples wanna post and like frame something in their house or even just like post for Facebook, things like that, they want those wider shots. You know, not so much like the nine by 16. So I think just like choosing those wider shots is better. So, yeah, I like, yeah, okay, I like this one. It's brightened up more. I know that I can bring it down my highlights, and if I have to, you know, just like blow, it, blow the highlights and just kind of control them a little bit and make it look more flattering. So I'm gonna choose that photo there. Um, like I said, the 9x16 is just, I don't know, just like kind of going through a phase where I'm not a big fan. So with these ones, my subjects were more to the top right of the third and not so much in the center frame. So I'm going to just keep going in this one. Finally nailed the center frame. I don't know what I was doing or thinking, but finally got it. So really happy with that. Actually, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, so the one that I selected was just, the horizon was dipped a little bit. So I'm just gonna go to the last photo here and then select that one because I can see that the horizon is better. So before I move on, that's good, cool. So we got into more colorful terrain here and this next series is sick. I'm just like so stoked on this. I cannot wait to edit these photos. So now as we go into this, I'm gonna be looking for the cropping, the lighting, things like that. So I had framed my rider within some of this foliage here. So I like, oh, it's so hard. I like this one because there's more to pull from. I think like a wider rather than these close-ups. Um, this just gives me a little bit more context to the shot. And if I do want to crop in, I can, but I have that latitude. So I went with this one just because in the first one, there was a little bit of uh, flares running through there so just gonna choose this one there's one there a little bit of it there but you can't really see as much and obviously we need the wide shot so like i said before instead of this next one i'm going to choose the one before because it's just more context more wide so we're going to go with that and 
Just got my rider to do a few different positions there. I'm not really liking this as much. It looks washed out and I can already tell it's gonna be washed out because the sun was peeking through here. It was just really kind of crapping on this image, making everything look washed out. So I'm not gonna choose that one. I'm just gonna keep looking to see if I can find one better. I'm gonna go with this nine by 16 crop. I like that. Okay, so yeah, my rider is definitely out of focus. I can already tell that the focus is on the middle ground here. And, uh, yeah, so obviously my rider's not gonna want that where like the wheel is like just barely off the ground. Like they're not gonna like that. And it's just not flattering for the, for the rider. So I'm just gonna leave those out and see if we can get the rider pop in there. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. That's pretty dope, sick. Oh, actually, oh no, I noticed that this one's out of focus, so I'm gonna deselect that one and keep going here. These ones are in focus here, so that one's okay. Uh, the wheel's off the ground a little bit more, so I'll go with that one. I have no choice. So, actually, maybe I'll go with these because the rider was off the ground a lot more, so she was really trying to nail those pivot turns, so. I'll give her those. And the lighting is pretty dope. So I don't like this as much where like you can't really see much of the rider's face here, but in these next ones, you can. So it's kind of finding the balance where it's like, yes, you can see that rider's face a little bit more here and then even more there. So I'll select both and kind of choose what I like afterwards. So I'm gonna keep going, keep going. Oh man, this dude was nuts. He was so good. So I don't want his butt off the seat too much because then it just looks a little, you know, like he's just spread out a little bit too much. So I'm basically just gonna go back here. So you can kind of see like the teetering point where it's like from here to here. Like that's, that's much better because like the bike is more vertical, which I think personally looks a lot cooler rather than like, you know, something like this. So either that shot or that shot is much better. So I'm just gonna select that one. And those ones, yeah, he's just turning around there. So I got a little bit closer here just to like kind of get that low angle on that sun. Oh man. Okay, all right, we're gonna break this one down here. So I'm not gonna choose these ones because I can't see the rider's face as well. Like I, I'm just kind of looking at the rider's helmet and you know, we're kind of getting that spread leg like we did, like I was talking about before. So I'm gonna keep going, keep going. You know, some people might choose this. I don't think this is flattering at all because it only shows the bike, no context at all. So I'm just gonna keep going until I see the rider and I think I can see the rider enough here and I think it gives me a good view of my rider. So I'm just going to select that one and select that one. And yeah, yeah, I think those are the best ones out of that. I did it a few times here, so I know that I did get something. Oh man, yeah, two just, weird angle here like you can tell that it's on a bit of a it's not even a complete 45 so i can't really do much with that uh yeah and he kind of fell there so not ideal this one wasn't great um i like okay so even though he was coming down on this trick I love this because like, it looks like he's aggressively riding into me, which, you know, even though his tires cropped, it's just so aggressive on him, like riding into me, which I love because like, I'm all about like drawing it if you're making it feel like the rider's coming to you if you're looking at this image. So I love that. Oh man. I like his body positioning on this better than this one because it looks like he's kind of falling over the handlebars rather than where this one looks he like he's upright. So I'm gonna go with that one over that. And, uh, oh man, these are cool. Oh, that's sick. Oh, kind of bummed because like the tire is way out of frame, like too far out of frame where it's just, yeah, the context just leaves, so. 
Oh, I like that. I like that because, you know, he's getting in position, like, just looks like he's ready to ride and like, he's serious about it. Yeah, I don't know, just like, I'm not a big fan of the whole spread leg, so we're just gonna keep going. And I like, oh, the sun is just so freaking good in these. So I'm gonna, uh, what do I want here? I'm gonna select these two and um, we'll just keep going. So, yeah, I just, <clears throat> so within these of the girl rider here, her body positioning, she's just too upright. Like, you know, you say, okay, taking a photo and you know, people just kind of like straighten up or I don't know, sometimes I'll tell people to like posture up and then they're just like, you know, get all weird, so. Um, I'll just keep going. They don't really flatter that rider right there, so I'm just gonna leave that. Um, this one's actually pretty cool though. I like this uh, because you get the sun flare coming in and I know that it looks dark, but we can definitely brighten this up. We are losing a bit of the boot on the other one, like this one. So I'm gonna go back here and you can still get the sun here on the bottom forks of the dirt bike. So we're just gonna keep going. And this one, oh, this one's really cool too. Ah, oh, but I don't really like how he's like spread there. It just looks like almost like uncontrolled on the bike. So I know that's what you're supposed to do, but I bet he would love this. So I'm just gonna save that, even though maybe it's like not my ideal. Maybe I could like crop it up a bit to like make it look pretty dope, but it it is cool. Um, that one looks even better because you you know, his lag isn't like so far out. So I'll choose that one. Um, yeah. Like any fails and stuff throughout the day, like save those because sometimes like the riders love to see those as well as, you know, like they make for good storytelling pieces as well. So save that. And, oh, this was friggin' cool. I love this. Yeah, they were doing like endos on the, uh, on the dirt bikes oh my goodness yeah that's cool i love that yeah like i love the sun just peeking through there oh my goodness that's so cool yeah i love that oh that one too you get like two angles on the light oh dang i don't really like it's hard to say like i don't really like this as much because like the sun is just taking over too much of his body which is just kind of unfortunate yeah, it just takes away too much where like it doesn't really like bring context. So, I mean, I, I, I'll i save that one as well because you know, there's no sun peeking out. It's just like a nice bloom. So I'll just keep that. And he does it a few more times, which I uh, like this one. It's, it's closer. So it's fine if you choose like similar ones if your athlete does kind of like the same trick. Just like select a bunch that are good and then you can kind of pick out your best ones. So there he goes. Yeah, sun is just dominating, just dominating that image, which is tough. Uh, yeah, I like this wide one too. Like this is a pretty cool wide one. I know that this rider would love that. That's pretty sick. Uh, I went for a wide angle just because like, I knew that it would add a bit more context. You know, you can go from that close to wide and it kind of looks like it was all part of the same shot. Now, maybe why, okay, no, I like that one. I was gonna say why I didn't like that one, but I do like that one, so I lied. So we're gonna keep going. That one's pretty cool. It could add to the context. Oh, that's sick too. I love like that little bit of dust just like floating through there. So I'm gonna select that one. I know that like this plant's kind of blocking it off, but we might go in later and see if, uh, see if it still fits. I like this one just because like, you know, if we're just going for like, say if the rider was just riding out of that or something, it's just a good context piece. Um, yeah, I definitely want something like this because 
I could go from like far out to close of the rider. Oh, dang, that's freaking cool. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna go for this one and this one. And the only reason why is because I'm looking at his face here and I like that you can see more of the helmet. So I'm gonna choose that one and that one. And go down. Go for the wides. Yeah, trying to, yeah, these ones were completely out of focus, so that's a no-go. So after we're done with our selection, we're just gonna hit import, and that's gonna take us into our own library. And these are all the photos that we have selected here. And now we can go through the process of editing. Made it to the end, which means you like this video. And because you like this video, I think you'll also like this one where I talk about my best kept secrets for action sports photography. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.